What's up, guys? Tao here. Welcome to another experiment. Lately, I did quite a lot of experiment, but I love this kind of thing. In today's video, I will show you how to access the CD drive from the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, they are running on iOS 13.3.1, so technically they have the same principle. So just to show you guys how you can access the content on the CD. So I have three CDs prepared already and through SMB. I have done a video regards on the SMB sharing within your home network. Now this video is focused on to show you how you can access the CD content through your home network via SMB. If you have not seen the video, I will leave the link down in the description or at the very end of the video, please check it out and it's quite useful. So this video is just focused on this CD drive. Now before we go ahead, I just want to answer one question some users had. Now they had a error message saying invalid username and password. So I did replicate the issues. I believe the solution is if you access the CD drive or use SMB on Windows machine, make sure you have a local login account, not use the Microsoft login. So for example, you do not use your Hotmail or Livemail or Microsoft account login. So that kind of preventing you to remotely log in. So make sure you create a local Microsoft account. All right, first let's connect to the MacBook Pro and to see can we recognize or can we read the content on this CD, which is I prepared early on. One thing I need to point out that on the system preference and the sharing, so I ticked uh, share the DVD or CD and that's what I did. And also when the system recognize the CD and I hear C is here, uh, test one, and you right click and go into get info. Now here is shared folder. So make sure the shared folder is ticked so the CD actually will be shared within your network via SMB. Now, on the iPad, here is little three dots there. You tap on that and hopefully it's in focus. Here's connect to server. Here is what I have done that, um, prior to this video. So I think on this is 179. So let's click on that and make sure you have your own uh, login credentials and then Click on next. Here we'll have, here we go. So you can see it's under uh, that IP address, which is this MacBook Pro. Here's a folder called test one. You click on that. Voila, now here's a content on the CD drive. So let's just open one here. It's a file there. So the CD actually is spinning, you can see. And also here is a PDF. Uh, it's pretty big. The light is on. See the actually spinning. There we go. It takes a little while, but it works. And what else? Uh, uh, that's a picture, I think. Yeah, that's a picture. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, so it works. All right, the second disc is this. It's a movie called Apple Seed. Uh, just to see if it plays. Here we go. It says recognize and we're not gonna show it. It's copyrighted. It recognizes the CD, which is Apple Seed. It's right here. And video, no. And not playing, it can't play. I actually have a movie player, but this is really, really good. You can see they're all grayed out, which means you can't really use it or you can't really play it. Yeah, imagine that'd be fantastic if you can if you can play it. But unfortunately, you cannot. It will not work. Now the third disc is a random disc. This is the driver utility disc from Dell. It's years, years ago. Uh, just to see if you can recognize this. Okay, here we go. Now here's the resource CD. Uh, that's the folder. Uh, let's tap on it. And what? Hmm. Right, it's the same thing happened on the phone. Now this is weird.
All right, guys, I do apologize. I did not realize my Mac battery runs out. So I carry on recording without the mic activated at all. So I'm gonna use voiceover. In terms of the CD drive on the Windows machine is the same principle as on the Mac. I did try the Dell CD drive. It did work, it did recognize the content. I do not know why it didn't recognize on the Mac. However, the other two, the Apple Seed movies and my test CD also were recognized without any issues. All right, guys, that was the experiment. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you learned something you didn't know about. And you may want to ask, who the hell is going to use CD drive in 2020? Well, because we can. So now occasionally you might want to use this to share the files. I don't know. So, you know, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to do it. But for those people who do use it, it's good to know. So yeah, that's been it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for future experiment videos. See you guys in the next one.